All right, let's go ahead and check out example four. So for example four, it says, estimate the product of 217 times 487. So normally when people see the word estimate, this is where the confusion comes in because they think that you estimate at the end or you're rounding at the end. So estimation and rounding are closely related. Estimates are just more general ideas of rounding. So we're gonna use what's called front end estimation. Normally when you see the word estimate, you're gonna to lean towards this particular um, way of doing it. So front end estimation means that we're gonna look at our leading value, so whatever number is first, and that's gonna determine the place to which we round. So you see how rounding still transitions into a new skill estimating because you will have to know that well, two is in the hundreds place and four is in the hundreds place. So that means that both of these need to be rounded to the nearest hundred before we do the math. So that's gonna be your keyword. When you get to your exam, if you get a question that asks you to estimate and we're talking about addition or subtraction or multiplication or division, you will always do your rounding before you do the math. You don't wait until the end, All right? So if I'm rounding 217 to the nearest hundred because that's my leading value, I assess the value to the right of it. So because that's the one, my two is gonna stay the same and everything behind it is going to change to zeros all right and then we're going to repeat the same process on the opposite side four is in the hundreds place so i'm going to evaluate the value to the right of it because that's an eight my four is going to increase by one to five excuse me and everything behind it is going to change to zeros all right now that we're in this space now we can go ahead and do the math. So that's the only extra thing you guys have to remember is that anytime you guys see the word estimate, always do your rounding before you do your math. And your rounding is based on your lead and value. All right, if I do 200 times 500, that's gonna give me 100,000. So the good thing is, of course, remember for this exam, you guys can lean on your calculator to help you in terms of arithmetic. You just have to make sure you understand the concept and what to do. So one last time, anytime you guys see the word estimate, we're always going to round before we do the math. And you always round unless otherwise stated, unless the question specifies, you will normally just do front end estimation or you're round based on elite and value. So because our two was in the hundreds place, we round to the nearest hundred. And because four was in the hundreds place, we round to the nearest hundred and then we did the math.